Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Rags to Riches Challenge. Um, I did get a new microphone and I'm still testing out how it's going to work. Uh, so if the audio is maybe just a little different or just a little bit off, please excuse me, I am still learning. <laughs> but today we are back here with Vivian. Now I did uh lose her game file so i did kind of have to start over i tried making everything the same as to what it was like last episode i even put the money back the same um i did lose the people that she knew but was just working on creating some new friends for her or just having her go around and introducing herself to people um, but today, I think I actually want to travel to a different world and see how much we can actually make in, like, a different world. So, I did have her meet some new people. It looks like she hit it off good with Cassie, uh, Lucha, and Tulua, Tuli Tulia, I think, um, as well as Sienna. And Sienna is a horse trainer, I believe. Oh, who are you talking to right now? Dirk. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and have her uh, travel. <laughs> okay, so we are here in Evergreen Harbor and we are at the waterfront right now. I wanted to see if she could um, dig in these dumpsters for furniture or anything. I don't know if we're going to do trash, but... I definitely want to see if she can get some furniture so that we can add it to her house. Ugh, I hate when people do that and they just go right to it when we're doing that. What? Hurry, hurry before somebody else gets there. Yes. Why are you naked? Alright, fix that right up. Uh, is she finding anything? Okay, so she found some art. What the heck? <laughs> okay, so she's not liking this place at all. Oh, she found. <laughs> what is. Oh my god, she found somebody's ultrasound. <laughs> I don't even think we can. We can't even sell that. It's not even something that we can use. <laughs> Okay, so she found medieval, medieval grim simi. Well, keep diving. I want you to find some stuff, dude. Dive as many times as you can. Okay, recycled materials. Oh, she found a dining table. Sweet. Keep diving. I'm sorry. Okay, so she found a wood jacket bike, recycled materials, a cold brew coffee shop booth. Okay. She is very stinky. Very, very stinky. Oh, but she found boho bed storage. Do you not want to do it anymore? Okay, yeah, she's too uncomfortable. All right, I think we did good. I think we did a pretty good job. Um, we might sell the bike. Ugh, I can't sell it. What? Okay, well, let's go home. Okay, I'm gonna have her go ahead. Oh, we don't have a shower. Shoot. Um, okay, so maybe we can buy one then. Let's see, can we, no, but let me see if I can sell these things in build mode. Okay. Yes, I can, perfect. All right, so we can sell those. And this, I'm not sure. If we can really do anything with those. I 
And then I don't think we need that. Let me see if we can clean these. Oh, we can replace that, but that kind of defeats the purpose. So let's just go ahead and sell them. Oh, they're not, I can't even get money for them. Okay. Well, let's get a shower. Okay, let's just go with the DIY bucket shower. I would say it was a success, but I don't know what to do about that, so I'm going to add a baby name, unknown. Unknown baby. Okay, so she seems to be okay. Nothing else. She doesn't need to do anything else um let's go over to our money area let's go ahead and oop, let's dig and look for frogs and then also we're gonna harvest all because i know we can make money from this area Okay, perfect. Yes. So we got a bunch of prairie grass. So we're going to go ahead and sell that. I'm going to have her open up the treasure capsule. Okay, and we got Buddy. And then a $10 frog. And some horse manure. For some ranchers, horse manure has proven to be a stable source of income. Sell your fertilizer for a hefty profit or grow a thriving garden by fertilizing your plants with the best manure on the market. Ultimately, don't let your horse waste its precious gift. Instead, use it to make your ranch thrive. I mean, I guess we can keep it. We have a carrot, so we can go ahead and plant that in our little garden. Okay, so she has to use the bathroom and she needs to go to sleep. So I'll let her do that. And then tomorrow I'm thinking maybe we can... We'll go ahead and find some other places that we can get some stuff. Maybe go back to Evergreen Harbor and see if we can get some actual usable furniture. Um... And then look maybe into the horses, maybe getting a horse, or maybe we can start trying to do like wine, make some wine. I don't know how much the winemaker thing is, but we can look into that and come up with some new ways to create some source of income. I also feel like Cassie might be a good person to like start hanging out with i love that for vivian but i'll see you guys when she wakes up okay she is awake is there there's nothing over here now let me pop into build mode real quick and we can see how much the i think it's a nectar maker we'll see how much that is it is only 350, so maybe we can go ahead and grab that. Okay, so we have to purchase. We can purchase some of these. Let's do some grapes. Let's purchase like two grapes. And then what can we make? Oh, we need one more grape. Okay, we'll go ahead and get one more grape. <laughs> oh, 
I wonder who's gonna want to buy her wine. <laughs> How long does this take? Oh, and that's perfect because... Do we know him? Okay, no, that's Roberto. We do need to know him though. So we'll do a funny intro and hopefully he doesn't go away. Okay, perfect. Yes, because then we can... Oh, and she acquired her first bottle of grape nectar. Ah, okay, but at least meet him so that we can call him over when we need to sell some nectar. Let's see. Ask about getting a horse. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can sell the nectar. <gasps> Under what conditions? <laughs> oh my gosh. And we can sell it for $110. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. We can make this a house now. We can actually get something going. Okay, let's move this. Let's make this bigger. Oh my gosh, we can, like, we can actually get a nice size house with this. Okay. We can sell that nasty old bed. Let's raise this up. Uh, a little. Oh, dang it. Okay, so we don't have enough money to make it a, uh, oh. to make a porch, but that's okay. Okay, so we don't have enough to buy a stove, but we can do a stove top and a sink maybe. Okay. How much is this? It's only 50. Alright, so we might be stuck with a nasty old mattress for now. We're stuck with that for now. But we have a house. We have an actual roof over our head. And we're going to have to just go with these. Alright, that is good for now <laughs> I mean it is not perfect it's not perfect but look oh we don't have a trash can either I'm gonna drag it over to that trash can okay but she is hungry so we might be able to we can get 
we can make like a little bit more things. I mean, I definitely could make this smaller and get some money back, but I think right now I like having like the outline of what I'm thinking. So we'll keep it that way. And she continue. She can continue making money. So we can we can harvest all of our stuff. We have a lot of carrots, onion, onion, and carrots. I don't think we can make carrot wine. <laughs> can we? <laughs> we can make prairie grass nectar though, which actually that can bring in a lot of money. So. I wonder if it's an option for us to do anything yet. No, it's not. Okay, I think we harvested everything. We have carrots and onions. Can we make anything with that? No. So might as well just sell them. Sixty and sixty. Okay, let's purchase a grape, a strawberry, a potato. Let's purchase uh, maybe not a lemon. Okay. All right, I'm going to have her plant that so that when those start growing, we can harvest them and uh, use that to make our wine. And then I think she should invite Cassie over. <gasps> Wait, is she here? Oh, she's in town. Okay. Can we call her over? Okay, so Cassie, where are you? Okay, I don't know. She might be going somewhere else. So let's just let her do what she's ever, what she's doing. I think that we should open a dating profile because as much fun as going around and trying to get money is, I think we need a little bit of romance. I do. <laughs> so let's just do Short fling or forever love. Specify. Um, outdoorsy. Confident. An animal. And. Uh, turn offs. Mm, I think turns off are fine. Okay, and then let me see. What does it say? Okay, so she dislikes the color blue and dislikes small talk. She likes piercings, wavy hair, and tattoos. Turn offs, ghost occult. All right. Let's set it as visible. And let's see how long it takes for us to get like a match <laughs> or whatever chats whatever it is um but we should also browse some profiles so let's browse the profiles okay so i should have included both genders because it looks like we're only getting guys right now but oh we have one person female maybe i'm tempted to do to do kyle <laughs> i actually really am there also is george basim so <laughs> those are the only two that i'm kind of seeing as cute there's also Knox, but i think kyle let's do kyle and see wait are we going okay i was gonna say i don't want to go on a date with him so he likes handiness he dislikes fishing he's clumsy a genius and lazy 
turns on artistic romantic and animal fan blonde hair color brown hair eye color and straight hair well we have brown eyes i think we have straight hair we don't have blonde hair so i don't know okay i don't want to meet up with anybody but maybe can i just like message somebody private messages okay start a private message with a sim and kyle <laughs> hello to you too <laughs> i love it okay so since he did basically like text back let's send him a flirty text I'd say she, like, gave him his number and was, like, I'd say, like, she was talking to him on the ch on the app and was, like, hey, here's my number. Like, text me whenever you're available. Oh, I see you're in a good mood. Maybe we should head out and grab a drink. Okay. <laughs> okay, Kyle. Okay, so let's say hi. He just left. Oh my god, did he like see Vivian was like, nope. Girl. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Kyle did just leave us. For absolutely no reason. Who's this lady? Okay, say hi to her. No, that's our... <gasps> Isn't that our drink? Oh, gosh. She just took our drink. Kyle, where did you go? Oh, she does not like you, I guess. I mean, she thinks Kyle is attractive. Where did he go? Like, why did he just bounce out like that? Okay, well, here's Daryl. Howdy intro. Tomax. Funny intro. Minerva. Oh my gosh. She met Paloma. Paloma is one of my sims that I made. Wait, where's Paloma? Where? Oh, she's in the bear costume. <laughs> I love that she's getting along with all of my sims that I've made. That was the goal. Why is everybody in their bear costume? Who is this? Let's invite Kyle over. Because I want to see... Why did he just bounce out like that? Yeah, Kyle. Where did you go? Okay. I just quickly controlled him. Unbearable. No sim likes being around deadly animals, but this bear seems more annoying and threatening. Okay. Let's see, Vivian, open profile. See, he perceives her as very attractive. So, okay, so we know that he likes her. <gasps> Another one of my sims. <gasps> Who? Paloma. Oh my gosh. Where are your clothes? Base sim and you're an elder? You're not an elder? What? Okay, so he's just perpetually naked. He has, like, no clothes. And your name isn't base sim. What is going on? I mean, whatever. Yeah, but Sonny. Lucas. 
Okay, how does she feel about base? <laughs> Neutral chemistry, oh so. I mean, he is an elder. Maybe I need to change that because he's not meant to be an elder. I'm gonna change that real quick. Alright, I gave him literally just a quick makeover. Um, and I named him Tommy King. <laughs> so, let's have her go over. I don't know who she like will like better. Who's this guy? Jake, you're cute. Ooh. Okay, what about Tommy though? Because he's kind of cute. Or not Tommy. Jake, I mean. He's kind of cute too. Jake's actually really. Oh, he's an elder. Dang it. Why is everybody such an elder? I changed it. Yes. Okay, so I changed it. He's an adult now. Hey. All right, I think it's time to go home. She's bored anyways. Let's go home. All right, let me let her go to bed. Go to sleep, and then tomorrow we will just work on getting some more money. All right, it's the morning time. And we have things over here that we can dig and get. And we're going to harvest all the prairie grass and make some prairie nectar. She found a piece of two limestone. Okay, should have a fossil inside. Okay, perfect. And another frog. Ooh, and she made a discovery while searching the prairie grass. One horse age up treat. And she found a hilarious tiny t rex arms okay and she has she found a strawberry so maybe we don't need that age up treat so we'll sell that and the fossil okay so we'll come back over here and plant our strawberry And then let's also go ahead and start making some uh, prairie grass nectar. Why can't I? Oh, she has insufficient skill. Dang it. Okay. Well, then maybe we should just sell the prairie grass when she's finished. Okay, so let's sell the prairie grass or wait, actually exit out of that. Can we plant it? No. But we can harvest everything over here right now. Yay! Okay, so we'll sell that. And sell that. She has to use the bathroom. I think... Buying a toilet is going to be, like, the last thing on my list since we have one so close. And then I'll have her purchase some more ingredients. Probably some grapes just so that we can make more nectar and get our skill higher. I keep forgetting that we need three. So we can do apple and we can do grape. So let's do both of them. Yay! Okay, so we have that, and then we need to clean it. So let's go ahead and clean. Oh, she's hungry. Okay, so she's going to go ahead and craft some nectar wine, and then maybe um, Roberto. Maybe she can... So it was $110 when we sold it to Roberto the first time. Okay, so it is more if we sell it to him. But why can't we? Okay, so we can't ask him to come over. Which is what I wanted him to do. So that we could sell the wine. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we have to wait until we see him around, maybe? Um... But I am going to end today's episode off here. 
I want you guys to let me know who you think we should pursue a relationship with. We have Jake, Kyle, even Paloma, even though we don't really know her that well, but Paloma, Tommy, or Cassie. So Jake, Kyle, Paloma, Tommy, or Cassie. Or we could do different time spans of relationships, like mess around with Jake here and there, Kyle here and there, Paloma, like it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think. If you are enjoying the series or any other series on my channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below telling me what you're thinking so far, if you like it, if you think I need to change up a little bit of things. Let me know. I'm having a great time and I hope you guys are as well. I will see you next time. Bye guys! Thank you.